name is Albert Kelly. I play bass. I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Harper Woods. I'm Ryan Panchek. I play drums. I'm 17, and I'm from Gross Point. I'm Brett Matheny. I play guitar. I'm 17. I'm also from Gross Point. I'm Tristan Rosano. I'm 18. I play guitar from Gross Point, and I live in a van down by the river. We started last fall. can't remember when. Uh, so for Brett and I, it's been like a year, pretty much. Right? Crazy time flies. Tristan joined like a month after we started, and then Albert's the newest guy. He hasn't been here that long, but you know, we still love him. We still love him. Yeah. All right, what made us start the band was I had an ex-girlfriend whose uh, mom wrote a book, and she needed a song for the trailer online, and uh, I said I would do it. I didn't even have a band yet when I said I would do it, which was kind of dumb. Uh, but I found him through my cousin, and they knew each other from school, and then we picked him up on the side of the road last week. So Going all the way back, I joined choir in like fourth and fifth grade because um, I was obsessed with Kiss, and Paul Stanley was like my idol. And so then middle school came around, I didn't do choir, I was kind of bored, so I figured you know, I still wanted to do something with my music, so I picked guitar up in like seventh grade. I've been playing ever since, and yeah. It's my passion. It's my love. I don't have girlfriends, so yeah. It's <laughs> uh, my first instrument, my father, he he let me play on his Fender Stratocaster, originally from Mexico. It's a you know, real deal. So I used to play on that a lot. We had an old PV amp. He didn't take care of that beautiful guitar at all. I phone Les Paul, just sitting back in the uh, closet. And eventually when I started getting good enough, he was like, hey, I'm going to give you this guitar. So he set it up for me. He uh, gave me the other phone Les Paul. I was about five years old, and I still have that guitar right now. I started when I was six playing guitar. I, I, I kind of got tired of that, it just wasn't my thing. Uh, I was in choir most of my life, and then my dad played drums since he was 10. I always loved watching him and listening to him, so I picked it up in sixth grade, I joined the school band, and then I just practiced day in, day out, and then basically since the last seven years, so it's been playing. Now it's my love. started getting involved with music when I was in like elementary school when I was forced to be in choir. But then I started I started on cello and middle school came around. I started switched over to bass. I started playing stand up bass and I played stand up bass all the way through high school. But I also played started playing electric bass uh, sixth grade in the jazz band and from there on I just played more and more and more. Uh, we came up with the yeah. band name um, <laughs> We were driving to McDonald's as we often do because there's a large we're hungry people. Large, large guys. <laughs> we're very hungry a lot. Yeah. Um, we, Tristan was in, sitting shotgun and Brett's in the back, like always. I was looking out my rearview mirror. I couldn't see anything because Brett's head was blocking the whole window. <laughs> and so I, I don't know why I use this word because it's kind of an odd thing to say, but I said, Your head is eclipsing the window. And we all just kind of stopped and looked at each other and we were like, that's the band name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just do I practice? Uh, kind of ranges night to night. Sometimes, you know, it's just like an hour, maybe. And then other nights I'm very antisocial and just in my room marathoning. Yeah, it kind of ranges. It ranges from like one to five hours. I typically practice, especially when I'm feeling a lot of emotion. If I'm very angry coming home from school, I will, I will practice for like seven hours. <laughs> You know, sometimes, every so often I will, but it really depends on how much work I have to do and things like that. I'll practice because I'll probably spend an hour or two on my drum set doing different stuff, a half hour on just a marching snare, and then a half hour on, a mar on my marimba. So, you know, it usually anytime between, anywhere between an hour and three hours usually. I practice, sometimes I'll practice, some nights it only ends up being like 30, 30 minutes to an hour. Some nights I just get in the zone and I'm just gone for like two hours, three hours. Usually I just go until my hands are dead mm -hmm. and then I stop because that's my usually my breaking point. Uh, but as a band it's usually at least recently it's been about once a week, two, three sometimes hours, longer, yeah. sometimes even four or five mm -hmm. depending on how much time we have because we're all very busy so yeah, it's crazy. I mean, music's really different. It's really like it's always like changing and moving and eccentric. very out of the yeah eccentric. Little ADD. Like, little ADD. Some songs. ADD. But other songs are guess, not so ADD. Yeah. I mean. I mean, we pretty much unique. Um, I guess. Forcibly smush parts together that sometimes <laughs> would never work. 
or not be, you know, it's not common, it's not common practice, you know, to do yeah. some of the stuff we do, it's very, um, so, I guess two words were not common, <laughs> just got invited, like, what, when did the guy talk to you, he, like, contacted us, like, a week ago, mm -hmm. um, we called him back, we, uh, talked to some of the staff, too, and they've, uh, they've invited us, and they'd be happy to have us in the, uh, their music festival, um, their summer music festival. It's the Michigan Metal Association. Is it in Munich? It's in it's Munich, it's in yeah. A um, it's a hike, but yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. So we get to jam in that festival, and um, I don't know, I'm really I'm really pumped for it. So there's there's some good bands playing. Uh, it's it's got some time. Yeah, we got time. Yeah, we, we, we yeah about a year. So summer, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hopefully we get our act together. Um, <laughs> we are just kind of good, but yeah. more together. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I'm yeah, really pumped for that. See what inspires me, like one of which is like watching other play. Some of my favorite players play. Um, there are times where I get frustrated or I'm not playing as good as I want to, and it's really refreshing to watch other people play. It, it makes me remember why I did it and why I, I started doing it. it. Makes me remember and you kind of remember the love I have for my music and just kind of keep going and keep playing. Pretty much my biggest inspiration is again watching other people play, but always knowing that every time I play, it can always be better. If I don't play, I'm just going to get worse. So I, I feel as though like that's my biggest driving influence to keep playing is because I never want to let this go. I, music has always been my outlet for everything. You know, especially when I can't find the words to say to people, I just play it through music and they don't understand what I'm saying, but I know it's just my way to vent sometimes and it really is just my outlet. Tristan said watching guys that do what I can't yet um, because it, I'm very competitive, especially being an athlete mm -hmm. like everyone else here is or was. And uh, so it's, it's, it's the love of the instrument and the competition to want to, you know, I guess be better than other people as bad as that sounds. Uh, what inspires me to keep playing is pretty much what everybody said. Well, at least points. Um, you know, watching other dudes play on stage, you know, when they're all just, the whole band is just tight. Everything is just perfect, exactly the way you hear it on the CD and you hear them live. You know that they all enjoy what they do and like what they do. And that's, I strive to be in something like that. And, you know, it's, it's so cool to see people just playing with their instruments and they're just having fun. As far as a band, when I when it inspires me to play with the band is when we we play something, you know, where we we're, we're writing something and we all get that look on their face like we're up amazement and we're just we're all like psyched about what we just came up with and we're just looking at each other and smiling and like, oh that was cool as hell. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that inspires me to, to keep practicing. So.